Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 43rd tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to check out a command and it's called grep. And uh, grep is a pretty important command and uh, I'm surprised why I didn't discuss it with you in the first 15 tutorials in this course. Uh, that is before we started our discussion on shell scripting because, uh, you know, it's a command that deserves a special mention. Uh, it's pretty amazing and uh, shell programmers use it so much that, uh, you know, once you learn shell scripting, you will be relying on uh, grep for a lot of things. So let's not waste any time. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, what I've done is I have created a text file called text underscore file and I've saved it in my home folder. And this file has the lyrics of the song Money by Pink Floyd. Now, uh, in case you haven't heard the song, I would suggest you guys to do that because uh, it's a pretty amazing song. It's one of my favorite uh, songs and Pink Floyd is my favorite band. So if you guys haven't heard it, check it out. But that's not important for this uh, tutorial. So you can uh, put that on hold for the time being. So anyway, grep, uh, we use grep to search for patterns in text files, right? So uh, what I mean by that is if suppose I want to look for a word or a few words in this uh, text file, what I would do in a text editor like Microsoft Word or, you know, even if I have a PDF document that's made of text, what I would do is I would type in, uh, sorry, press control F and then I would search for uh, my word but if you want to do that through the terminal then what you would have to do is you would have to use the command grep and that is g-r-e-p and it actually has a full form uh, you know i guess it's called globally search a regular expression and print it or you know uh, gradually search a regular expression and print it i don't know what the full form is maybe you guys can you know google it and let me know what it is but that's not important what what is important is that we should know how to use it so anyway you have to type in grep and then forward up with a space and then type in the word or words that you want to search. And if you want to search more than one words, then you would obviously have to put them within double quotes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just search for the word money in my file text underscore file. And when I press the enter key, you see that nothing gets displayed. And that's because in my text file, there is no line in which you have the word money uh, just the way as I have uh, typed it in my command. I have used all lowercase letters and you would see that in my text file, wherever money appears, at least the first alphabet that is M of money is in uh, capital case, right? So the way I would uh, get around that problem is by using grep with the option hyphen I and hyphen I tells grep to, you know, become case insensitive, that is ignore case. And, you know, if you have money in your uh, text file, you know, no matter how you have it, whether you have it in all lowercase letters or all uppercase letters, you know, it doesn't matter how you have it, just display the result to me, right? So if I would now press the enter key, you would see that all the lines in which I have the word money uh, are being displayed, right? And if I would also want to know the line numbers of these lines, then I would have to use the option hyphen N along with hyphen I, right? So now you see that line numbers are also being displayed and you can match these line numbers to the line numbers that your text editor is showing you. Like for example, I have one uh, on line one, I have money get away. And if I show you guys uh, the file in my text editor, you would see that on line one, you have money get away, right? So, I mean, there are just six lines. It's hard for me to believe that there are just six lines in uh, the text file, which has 52 lines in total in which there is uh, the word money and you know it's surprising because the song itself is called money so anyway uh, those are the two Im uh, important options with grep and the third option that we're going to check out is the hyphen c option and hyphen c option is used to not display the lines but just to you know have a count of the lines that contain the keyword or the pattern that you're searching right so if i would let me first uh, clear the screen so if uh, I would use hyphen C option here along with the options hyphen I and hyphen N and press the enter key, you would see that I get six as the output. And that's because there are six lines in the text file that have the word money. And the last option that we're gonna check out for grep in this tutorial is the hyphen V option. And hyphen V uh, basically does grep to reverse the match. That is, you know, consider only those lines for output that do not have the word money, right? So if I don't use the hyphen V option, then the lines that have the pattern that I'm searching are displayed. But if I use the hyphen V option, then all the lines that do not have the pattern are displayed. 
So let me show you guys what happens when I use the hyphen B option with hyphen C, hyphen I, and hyphen N. You see that 46 is being displayed and that means that there are 46 lines in my files that do not have the word money. And uh, if I would use hyphen V uh, without the option hyphen I and, sorry, hyphen N and hyphen C, then you would see that all the lines that do not have the word money are being displayed. So there you go. Uh, as you people must have noticed, grep is a pretty powerful command and it comes with loads of other options. And uh, if you people want to explore grep in greater detail, what you guys can do is you can now view the man page of grep and uh, that you can do by typing in man space grep in your terminal and there you go you would see the man page and there are so many other options you can check out the version of grep and then you can uh, check out what the hyphen y option does or the hyphen capital c option does so there are loads of options that you can check out and uh, you guys can have a little bit of fun with grep it will certainly help because in this course we will be using grep for so many things and uh, for sure so that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next tutorial and uh, I can assure you that it will be important and interesting as it always is. Uh, thank you so much for watching this one and uh, please subscribe to my channel.